even though they take a lot of time i absolutely love the look of painted macarons especially in a group or box of all different shapes and colors and sizes these clover painted macarons that i'm going to show you today i'm starting right off with my basic white macaron shell i typically use the french method for that if that is unfamiliar make sure to check out one of my other videos because today i am just going to show the painting process i am using a couple food safe paint brushes here and then you can use some sort of clear alcohol or extract uh, to use or you could use water as well but i really prefer to use something like gin or almond extract and then i have a couple different colors of green gel food coloring and then as you can see i have some gold luster dust there as well now clovers are insanely easy to draw or paint although they might look like a kind of complicated shape all you have to do is draw a couple hearts and a line so once i start getting the color and tone i want adding a little bit of that clear liquid just to water down the intense gel food coloring colors i'm going to start off with my medium-sized rounded paintbrush and i'm just going to draw a small heart I'm going to go to the side of that and with this bottom side touching I'll draw another one and on the opposite side another one and there we have it our basic clover shape now if you wanted it to be a four leaf clover you can just draw another heart at the base there so there will be you know almost like you're creating four little quarters of the same heart circle <laughs> um, but the three leaf clover um, all you need are the three hearts that are touching each other and then i like to go in after i have that basic color down with a finer tipped paintbrush in a darker color and then outline what i just painted and at this point i will just add in tinier little details a little bit more dimension and i will draw a line straight down or a little bit curved going down from the center where all three of those hearts are touching downwards just to create the final clover shape as well in a few extra little details in gold you don't have to do this but especially for saint patrick's day and with clover that is such a common highlight and color i think it's really great thing to add in a little bit of sparkle and just something different again just to add more dimension and playfulness to your macarons i am just going in with a toothpick if you had another very fine tipped um clean food safe paintbrush you could do that i don't have a lot of paintbrushes that i work with so instead of going through the trouble of cleaning it off i suppose i could paint all of my clovers first and clean it off and then put the gold on but using the end of a toothpick works just fine so i am just going to go through and show you this same process a couple more times here and you can really change the look of a painted clover macaron again i'm doing all of the same steps starting with the outlines of those hearts going in and coloring in the inside of my outline going back with a darker color and a finer tipped paintbrush to add in details and the stem um, but depending on how big you make the clover or how many clovers you add i'm going to show you one in a little bit here where i do three they're kind of all placed everywhere or if it's you know off the side of the macaron or 
you know, you have two that are paired together. There are so many options to make this really fun and to make this design work for you. If you don't have a lot of other kinds of macarons in a set, I think it's especially nice to play around with a couple different designs um, or if you have different flavors or fillings you want to use, having different designs is another really great way just to let people know which ones will be which flavor or something like that. Um, but again, I just want to show you a couple different things here, but the same technique is going to be used every single time. Do want to mention here especially as I'm working on this four leaf clover um, and you're working with painting on macarons you have gel food coloring you have some sort of liquid to kind of water it down thin out the gel to make it more like a watercolor and when you have overlapping shapes like I do here at the very center of this four leaf clover Yes, I want to add a lot of dimension. I would love to go over this and add streaks and different colors and different tones. But remember, this is not paper. This is a macaron shell. And we are working with liquid here, which is usually the nemesis of macaron shells, right? So we do want to be careful that we are adding layers but not too many and not too much liquid. So you want to pay attention to how much liquid is on your paintbrush. Make sure you have just what you need to paint and that you're not going to end up causing um, holes or anything to develop in your macaron. You want a relatively dry brush. You don't want this to be drippy um, or again, you will ruin your very hard work. Um, and the macaron itself. So just be cautious, especially in the parts where you have colors overlapping or you're developing color and definition and you continuously go over the same spot. You will build up and add more and more liquid to that same spot and it could um, cause <laughs> damage to the shell more likely than other places that you're just quickly going over once or twice. So keep that in mind as you are painting on your macarons, whether it is a clover or anything else.
Scented macarons usually do not need much time to dry, but just to be safe and again to make sure you don't smudge any of your hard work, I recommend just leaving them on your counter for even 30 minutes or an hour I think would be really ideal to make sure everything is set and as you go in to fill them and pack them up, you are not smudging anything. I really like to go with some fun St. Patrick's Day kind of fillings, Guinness, uh, Bailey's, dark chocolate, all of those amazing flavors um, for St. Patrick's Day. But of course, do whatever works for you, your customers, your family, or your friends. Thank you so much for watching this Painted Clover Macaron tutorial today. If you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, please consider doing so. I would love to see you here again next time. Until then, have a wonderful day. Bye!